All right, here we are with Limestone head softball coach Jimmy Martin in their final preparations for their first game this Sunday at Lander. Coach Martin, how have the practice has been going so far? Well, I mean, it's, we've had beautiful weather for the last 25 to 28 days to prepare, uh, and that looks like it's going to get a little cold this weekend. Uh, but the uh, practice has been going great. The kids are in, uh, enthused about the season coming up and uh, ready to get it kicked off on Sunday. First off, let's talk about your pitching staff. You lose first team all conference Emily Wallace. First off, what what does her loss mean, and who will be looking to step up, step up in her place? Well, Emily was one of those kids that you could always depend on. I mean, you know, she was going to hit her spot. She was going to give you a good outing every time she went out. Uh, you know, fortunately, we have two juniors returning, uh, and and hopefully they're going to kind of pick up where they left off. Um, and, and, and kind of replace her right away. Uh, you know, we got uh, Leah Kwan, who was co-pitcher of the year in Conference Carolinas her freshman year. Hopefully she'll return back to that form. And if she returns back to that form, then she just kind of steps in and fills Emily's spot right away. Um, you, you know, and then Shelby Webb uh, a year ago had some good outings. Um, you know, and, and, and right now Shelby's throwing well. She's worked hard. Uh, in the off season and 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 throwing the ball as as good as anybody. All right, in your in your infield battles right now, you're you're replacing two starters in the infield, including Hannah Mills. What are you looking there for behind the catcher position and also replacing your first baseman? Uh, I mean, you know, Hannah was was our leadoff hitter, kind of the quarterback out there, uh, the the leader behind the plate. She kept everybody in the game. You knew what the situation was. Um, you know, we stepped in. Uh, recruited a junior college catcher this past year who's going to step in and, and should fill the catching position and leadership role right away. Uh, you know, she, she doesn't have the uh, speed that Hannah has, but she's more of a power type hitter. Uh, and, and then we went out and signed a, a freshman uh, who will see time, maybe not at the leadoff role, but in, in kind of like Hannah's same category as speed wise. Uh, and then Jenna Goose looks like she's going to step up and, uh, and kind of take Hannah's spot in the uh, leadoff role. Also, the other positions, bringing back starters at your second, short, and third, it will be the same starters going forward? Uh, yes, going into the season, it looks like Jordan Smith's going to anchor down third base. Uh, you know, really, really, I think, you know, Jordan over the past couple of years has kind of should have been all conference and, and it's kind of been overlooked. Uh, I really look for her to even play better this year than she has in the past. Uh, look for her to be one of those uh, leaders that, that should produce some RBIs in the middle of the lineup. Um, Alex Roberto should be back at shortstop. Uh, Alex had a great defensive year a year ago. Um, and then Kayla Kelly, uh, a sophomore who, who started at second base for us a year ago, will anchor that position again. Uh, over at first base right now would be Kirsten Burleson, who's kind of moving in from the outfield to, to play that position. Uh, you know, and it's still a learning process with her there. Uh, but, you know, again, we're going to have Burleson in the lineup, who swings a good stick. You know, hit right at 300 a year ago. Hopefully, you know, we're going to get 30 or 40 RBIs out of her this year. And in the outfield, you're returning two all-conference selections in Jenna Goosey and Taylor Wigmore. Who will be sitting there joining them in the outfield? Uh, freshman Caroline Childers right now is kind of projected to start in center field on Sunday uh, with, with Jenna Goose, again, a three-time all-conference player in the left field. And uh, Taylor Wigmore, who was uh, second-team all-conference a year ago in right field. So, uh, you know, we got some veterans out there, and, and hopefully those veterans will help that freshman in center field. Uh, come along, and, 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 and they've been working well together at practice. So uh, I'll feel very comfortable with our outfield. Definitely a lot of speed back there, wouldn't you say, in outfield? Yes. Uh, I mean, you know, with uh, all three of them, they all have good speed. I wouldn't call it great speed. Uh, but if it's in the air with, with a little bit of air under it, we have an opportunity to go catch it. All right, and a little preview this Sunday. At, again, as we said, Lander. What do you hope to see? What are the encouragement signs you want to see early on? Well, I mean, you know, Lander is one of those teams that's over in Peach Belt Conference. You know, that conference is very tough. I'm not for sure exactly where Lander was picked to finish over there, but, you know, they're, they're always tough. Hopefully we go in there on Sunday 
uh, you know, we got some quality pitching, um, you know, and the defense looks well. And with it being our first day out, hopefully we just execute the things we need to execute offensively. And if we do that, then I think we have a good shot coming out of there, two and up. Um, you know, but Lander's going to have five, four games under their belt uh, versus us stepping in playing that first game. And the temperature is supposed to be 44, 45. So, you, you know, coming off some of these here 65 and 70 degree practice days, it's going to be a shock to our bodies uh, going in and playing on Sunday. But, you know, both teams have got to play in the weather. So uh, hopefully we're just going to be mentally prepared to go do it because we have all, of, all the tools physically to win. And finally, last question, what is it going to take this year, this group of seniors who have now been three straight conference championships, what is it going to take – to finally bust through and win the conference championship? Well, I think, uh, you know, in the years past, it's, it's always been about well, we want to win conference, conference, conference. And we've done, we, we went out and we kind of done that during the regular season. And I think when we got to the tournament, uh, you know, we just kind of put a little more pressure on ourselves. And, uh, you know, hopefully this year we understand that you got to go play the tournament just like you play the regular season. And it's not – uh, one of those things where you want to just put all the pressure on yourself saying you've got to go do something. Uh, you know, we're going to play our best. Hopefully if we go out and we play our best on an every, everyday basis, you know, that's going to be good enough. All right. Well, thank you, Coach Martin, for your time. Thank you, Trey.